There are some of you out there that are incredible farmers, planters, growers, where you have these amazing gardens, and I can just tell you, I am jealous. My name is Trent Jenkins, and thanks for joining us for today's Daily Dose as we're going 40 Days to Freedom, the life of Christ leading up to his death and resurrection. Well, the whole element of growing, I, I do not have a green thumb, as they say. I love to have great plants, but me keeping them good is a whole nother issue. And recently I ran into a problem. I was watering these plants every single day, but they were dying. I was like, well, what is going on? I, I am rarely this disciplined with watering my plants. With and These were like in a pot, so you had to use a bucket. And it's like, what, what's the deal? I mean, they're watering. I can see they're saturated because the water's coming out the bottom of the pot. What's the deal? And I, I realized that I don't know that they're getting water. I, I realized this after it had died and I pulled this plant out and it was bone dead dry. Like what's the deal? How can a plant be so dry when I've been watering it every day? Well, it's simple. The water never actually got to the roots. It was just flowing off of the sides. Today we're in Luke chapter 8, and we're talking about the parable of the seeds. Let's dive into today's passage together. A farmer went out to sow his seed. As he was scattering the seeds, some fell along the path. It was trampled on, and the birds ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground, and when it came up, the plants withered because they had no moisture. Other seed fell among the thorns, which grew up, and it choked the plants. Still other seed fell on the good soil. It came up and yielded a crop a hundred times more than what was sown. When he said this, he called out, Whoever has ears to hear, let them hear. Now this particular parable often gets talked about when we're talking about trying to share the gospel with other people. But there's an element where I feel like there's a moment where I need to apply this parable to my own life and realize what kind of soil am I? And am I in a place where I'm actually hearing the word and absorbing it into my life so that it can transform me? Whoever has ears to hear, let them hear. Do you have ears to hear? Are you open and in a posture to be able to receive the gospel for it to change your life or are you just hearing all of this education and knowledge and messages and you tune in each and every week to our message? You're reading the word, but it's not changing you. I can tell you, it's not changing you if your perspective on people has not changed. I can tell you his word has not gotten into you if you don't feel more love and compassion for others. It's probably not changing you. If you feel more judgmental towards others and looking down on them, it's probably not changing you. If you don't feel like God's speaking to you on a regular basis, it might not be getting into you. These are just warning signs. It doesn't mean that that's the case. There's times where we feel like God is silent. I get that. But do we have more fruit in our life because of God's word in us? Or are we becoming more stale? These are those things that I'm talking about. As we prepare the soil, I love in Psalm 139, it says, Search me, O God. Test me. Know my anxious thoughts and lead me into the way of everlasting. I want to encourage you today. Take some time and till up the soil of your life so water can get back down. Find those elements that have been obstacles between you and God and say, God, help me to know these things and remove them from my life so I can experience you in a greater way. Let's till up the soil to get the water down into our roots so that we can produce great fruit. Have a great day, everyone.